is Joseph Carroll. I run under the pen name J.R. Carroll. And today we're going to talk some Dresden Files. We are now on book four of the Dresden Files, which is Summer Night. And uh, before we jump in, I just wanted to let you all know that we're still doing the giveaway for 300 subscribers. So make sure you're subscribed, uh, leave a comment and a like. And towards the end of the video, I will show you another piece of memorabilia that I've um, been doing every so often on these videos. But let's jump in to the review of Summer Night. I will try to keep the spoilers minimal for this book, but there will be spoilers, of course, for the previous books. So if you're watching this, I am assuming that you've read the first three. Um, this book, um, I, I, I this is where I say, like the first three, if you're just a reader that just likes to just read their stuff and just enjoy it and you don't have to have all these deep diving things to grab onto and dissect. Um, most people, three books will get you hooked um, for the Dresden Files. But if you're, if you need that more, you know, more world building and, you know, more depth and all that, um, this is where it starts taking off. I mean, it really takes a, a leap in a trajectory uh, with Summer Night. Um, you know, most people will say that this is one of the best books um, in the series. Some people even have this in their top three, top five. Um, for me, it's definitely in the top half of, you know, all Dresden um, related material. I mean, there's 17 books and all the side stories is close to 20 books worth of material out there. And I definitely have this in my top, you know, the top half um, for sure. We get to meet um, some great characters. Um, he kind of throws you right into the story. Um, you know, Harry is in a bad way right now because of what happened to Susan, um, you know, with the vampires in the previous book. And he's, you know, been in his, in his uh, basement all the time trying to figure out a way to, you know, cure her of this. Um, you know, and Bob's telling him, he's like, there is no cure for vampirism, you know, but so he's down in the dumps and he's, he's out there actually, uh, you see him when it opens up, he's collecting toads that are raining from the sky and, um, Billy, the werewolf is out there with him and, you know, trying to kind of help him out and cheer him up and, and this, you know, he's telling Billy, he's like, well, I'm hoping that these are fake. Uh, that there's some kind of just trickery uh, because if they're not there's some big problems going on um, and then out of nowhere you know Dresden gets attacked by two different sets of uh, people you know firing machine guns and shotguns at him and stuff so it's really wild um, from the very beginning um, but without doing like too many spoilers I mean we meet maybe a dozen uh, people in this book that are going to be heavy hitters for nearly the whole series. You'll meet, uh, you know, the queens, the mothers, the ladies, uh, you know, of, you know, a fairy on the summer court and the winter court side. Um, this book will show you um, you know, kind of how these mantles within the fairy realms work, uh, as well. The world building just explodes, um, here in Summer Night, and this is a book that I will tell people, like, book four, this is on a reread. Once you go through the whole series, and then once you get back to it, and you reread Summer Night, you're like, this is a true Dresden book. So, like, if you're, if you're, through three books and you're like, ah, and, you know, you're like, ah, I, I need more. I, I, you know, read book four. And if book four doesn't make you want to read the next book, then the, then the Dresden Files probably isn't for you. Uh, you know, because this is a true uh, Dresden book. 
uh, but there's so much to learn about the fairies here. You get to meet all the leaders of the White Council of Wizards. Um, it's, you know, so, you know, we get Ebenezer, you get all of these uh, big heavy hitter, uh, you know, wizards. And of course, you get to meet Tutu again. And this is the beginning of the Za Lord's army. So they love, you know, they love themselves some pizza and you get to see some of the crazy things that these little fairies are willing to do for pizza and loyalty to Harry. Um, and the alphas are starting to come into their own. Harry's starting to actually respect them. Um, and they're kind of doing their own thing, fighting people on their own outside of helping Harry. But now, you know, Harry still, when, when they're with him, he, you know, he still kind of feels responsible for him. But he's like, hey, no pun intended, but he's like, you know, if you want to roll with the big dogs, all right, you, we, we can go do this. Um, and we meet the gatekeeper who is on the council of wizards as well. Um, and his name is Rashid and he is, he is an awesome character. Um, you don't get a ton of, of his, um, you know, backstory or what all his title entails, but it gives you just enough where you're like, man, I really want to know more about this guy. Um, you know, there are characters from Harry's past that show up in this book. Um, it is just a, an amazing um, example of, you know, Jim Butcher's writing. So, um, you know, next, you know, the next one up is going to be Death Masks. That'll be coming uh, here in a few weeks. Next week, we have The Law. So look out for, look out for that one. And um, as I promised, I have a piece of memorabilia here. And it is not of the Dresden Files, but it is from my second favorite series of all time. And my wife got this for me uh, last year. And I need to frame this, but it is a map of the Witcher world. It's got all the cities. You got Nilfgaard down here, Skellig, Redania, uh, Kaidawin, you know, Sintra. Um, I just love the Witcher uh, universe. I love, you know, I love the Witcher. Put 200 plus hours into the Witcher 3. I went through the books twice. Um, at here in a couple months, I'll probably start my reread of that. Um, I can't wait to give you guys some reviews on there, but. Um, you know, like, comment, uh, subscribe, let me know how you're liking Dresden. What did you think about, uh, you know, Summer Night? Uh, what are you guys reading? And I will see you in the next one.